right, welcome back to virtual COVID support. Who wants to start? I do. Uh, maybe I should wait until Kim finishes making her breakfast. Oh no, you go right ahead, Jane. I can still hear you, unfortunately. There you go. Cheers. Why don't we go around and take everyone's emotional COVID temperature? Just remember, we're all here to support each other as friends. Jane? I told something to Nancy in confidence that it ended up on her Twitter. Shocking. Would you feel comfortable saying what that was? I would not. She said that my grandkids sing like feral cats being pulverized in a coffee grinder. I did not tell Nancy that. I told that to soap up a digest. Learn to lie like the rest of us. It'll make you less horrible. Nancy, maybe you feel more comfortable saying what you put on Twitter. I was told not to speak without counsel present. No, this is a this is a safe space. No one's suing you here. I am. Jane is. Which is why I brought my attorney. Just pretend she's not here. <sighs> did you or did you not tweet that I never get out of my robe? Can I answer that? No. I have devoted my career to being seen as a professional, and I have worked very hard at it. I did not choose to have it undone by a twat. Tweet! Can I address that? No! I have an idea. Why don't the two of you shut up and let me talk? I punched out a woman at the beach. She brushed past me, she wasn't wearing a mask, and I flattened her. Oh! I dog-horned a troop of Girl Scouts. What? They were selling their cookies and they were not wiping down their boxes. I quit! Oh, I, I, I should say that I also threw a drink in the face of a maskless frat boy who was inconvenienced by COVID. God, any chance we could get Miss Clark to come back? Oh, Corey, relax. I've won a dozen Emmys throwing drinks in assholes' faces. Oh, shush. Oh, Besides, I did it from a safe social distance, and I landed it like a pro. Okay, I bitch slapped a guy who was hoarding toilet paper at CBS. Does that count? Or does Erica Slezak get my Emmy for that, too? Jane? I took a photo with my phone of a Karen at the Trader Joe's, and I posted it with the hashtag James Hall of Shame on Twitter. Well, I would say the plus in this is that you didn't assault anybody. That's awesome. Good for you, Jane. Are we friends again? No. Okay, I'm going to try something here. How about we go around the room and each list three things that we're grateful for? Can you start with Jane? I need time to think. Three? Seriously? I'll go. One. Two. And three. <laughs> okay. My children, Netflix, and Blue States. All right, my daughter. Because what kind of monster would I be if I didn't mention her first, right? Uh, my fiancé who showed up 45 years later than I asked him to, but better late than never. And Twitter. Ah, and we've come full circle. Oh, good. I'm always up for another round. <laughs> oh, and Nancy, I just say this to you as your friend, but I'm worried about you. Do they have meetings for Twitters? Meetings? Kim, I'm so glad you brought <laughs> meetings up. I think I you are so nice to do that meeting. <laughs> 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 12 step program. Oh, it slipped.